Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. One of the things we talk about in the first module is dreaming with God. Hmm. And I think, you know, sometimes our own dreams of what we think we could do are so limited. Yeah. I know mine are, you know, when I look realistically at what what I'm capable of, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about something this small. But when I start to dream with God yeah. and listen to him and what's on his heart to do, and when I think of it, like we talked about earlier in the podcast of a partnership with him, that he's wanting to do incredible things yeah. through us. Yeah. He's wanting to do incredible things. He's looking for those who are willing. And we start to dream with him. And, and Faith to Move Mountains, the book, talks mm. about that as well. You yeah. know, he, he wants to put into our hearts faith to believe him for multiplication kinds of dreams. You know, um, I think that's another tendency we have. We tend to think about addition growth. You know, yes. what can I do if I were to lead this person to the Lord or that person to the Lord or I was to influence this family or start this ministry? But really, when we start to think multiplication and we start dreaming with God, it's incredible what he can do through ordinary people like yeah. us. And um, such a privilege to work with him on his multiplication dreams, you know? I, I recently was talking to um, Matthew Ellison. He's the founder and president of uh, 1615 uh, Ministries, author of When Everything is, co-author of When Everything is Missions. And he was talking about how when Jesus sent people out, it wasn't just go and make disciples. Mm. When you stop right there, Okay, there was, a, there was a comma after his go and make disciples, or no comma actually, of all nations. Right. He said, when you remove the object from that verb, you know, go and make disciples of whom? Mm. Of all nations. Right. We gut the mandate. He used strong words. We gut the mandate wow. when you only think it's about making disciples. There's that addition. Mm -hmm. One here, one there. Maybe they'll believe. Family next door might hear the gospel. But when you think about of all nations, you see the biggerness, the picture of, of every nation, every, mm. and then you continue with your thought of teaching them, discipling them, uh, baptizing them. This is one who makes disciples, who make disciples, who make disciples, multiplication factor. I think God's heart is for culture for language, for mm, color. Mm. Revelation 7-9, almost every episode of Missions Pulse, I point to Revelation 7-9 because okay. it seems to me the culmination of this story, right? Mm. I mean, every nation, tongue, tribe, people standing before the throne of God, worshiping, white, dressed in white, palm branches. Basically, every culture, every ethno-linguistic tribe is standing there and God's receiving worship from every kind of mm. multiple facet of this this diamond of the he created, right? Mm. Uh, he doesn't want just one single facet of worship arising in English with, you know, laser lights and fog machines, as we know in the West. <laughs> he wants to see multiple facets and views and visions of peoples and culture. And he deserves the praise from every nation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why I believe disciple-making movements are so important hmm. in, um, in missions today as yeah. we approach the end of the Great Commission. You know, we're, we're within reach. We're, we're you know, the title of your... <laughs> I, uh, I know. I, I love how some people... I love how you mentioned that it's within reach. That's why we named our organization Within Reach Global. Yeah, kind yeah, of I see love the glass that. half Great full. Name, you know? Glass has full <laughs> rather than empty kind of idea. Yeah, I mean, we, we are closer than hmm. ever before, yeah. mm -hmm. but I really believe disciple making movements is critical yes. as we look at the completion of seeing every people group have their own expression of church. And one of the things we see in a disciple making movement is though there may be different people groups. Uh, worshiping together in different groups, but there are streams because disciple making movements they multiply relationally hmm. within what we call the oikos. So you have your group of friends and family, and most of those people are going to be in your own people group. So, yes, I see what you mean. So as those streams start to continue to grow, we see see multiplication happen along those lines and it naturally becomes indigenous yes um if we are careful not to bring in western um western things that that uh will you know western Character buildings or, or yeah. music or yeah. language can be an Get rid issue of all the ethnic uh, mu musical instruments and bringing guitar and piano. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, especially for the big celebration meetings. We need to be oh, careful yeah. of that. But when people meet in homes, yes. you tend to use your own language. 
Yep, I see what you're saying. You know, and your own personality, and characteristics, own, style. Exactly, those things. Indigeneity comes quite naturally mm. in a home group. Yes, as opposed to in a, a broader, bigger meeting. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's part of the the expression of Revelation seven nine, like you talked about, that we we look at how to multiply uh, these house church mm. movements and uh, DMMs. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.